it would be easy to focus all of our excitement about Arctic Cat's 2018 ZR8000 ES on its motor. It's what we've been waiting for, waiting a long time for. So getting excited about it is perfectly reasonable. But the truth is, there's a lot more new stuff going on with this sled that, in terms of real-world usability, is almost equally as exciting. Okay, maybe not equally, but it is exciting nonetheless. So let's start off today talking about that stuff, and we'll end by talking about the motor. Now the first piece of newness we need to discuss is the most obvious, and that's the bodywork. Underneath the bodywork, the chassis of the sled is the same as the 2017 models but the bodywork itself has been completely reworked to be sleeker, sexier, and most importantly, more functional and easier to use. The side panels are the same as those found on the turbo with the great big air scoops on both sides. They attach to the sled with unbelievably slick quarter turn fasteners and the way they hinge open gives greater access to all the goodness hiding underneath. The new look is more streamlined. Arctic Cat says it's more aerodynamic and it's way more functional. It's a winner and we love it, but underneath that new bodywork is another big change you may not see, but you'll definitely feel. Arctic's new Rapid Response 2 Primary and Boss Secondary are kind of a big deal in how they deal with a problem no other clutch does. This clutch combo has an auto belt adjustment system, and let's not downplay how awesome this is. Everybody knows one of the key elements of keeping your sled running at its peak is to keep your belt adjusted correctly. This can be a bit of a pain, with a new Rapid Response 2 Primary and Boss Secondary, it's all automatically done for you. Another thing this primary clutch does is lower the starting ratio by 12.5% without changing the final ratio. This means no change in top speed, but the new starting ratio allows for smoother clutch engagement and less belt wear at takeoff speeds. Does it work? Well, we absolutely did notice that this sled engages very smoothly but we initially couldn't decide if this was due to the clutch or to the SeaTech 2 800's improved bottom end smoothness. In the end, we have to conclude it's a combination of both. Now let's get to the biggest news from Articat in 2018, the new SeaTech 2 800. Now the whole industry has already said this multiple times, but I'm gonna say it again. This was a long time coming. SeaTech 2 is a semi-direct injection system, similar to Polaris's clean fire system in that it is not direct injected like Skidoo's E-Tech. Also, the SeaTech 2 800 is not just the old 800 with semi-direct injection. This is a completely new motor. And thank goodness for that. Yes, the old 800 did make good horsepower up top, and if you were really pushing it hard, it could be fun to ride. But anyone who tried to ride that motor slowly or smoothly knew that it really suffered down low. This new engine could be described as ultra torquey. It pulls like a truck down low and in the mid-range, yet still pulls strong up top. On top of that, the SeaTech 2 allows for cleaner operating, smoother running, better starting, and a more efficient motor. And these are all the things the old 800 definitely was not. We put a good amount of miles on our 2018 ZR8000, and here's what we really think about this motor. It's a home run. It's everything we thought it could be, and then even a little bit more. The rest of this Articat ZR8000 ES is on the basic side, which is okay because it is a base model. We're even okay with the non-adjustable shocks, again, because it's a base model. Even though these shocks are preload and oddly enough rebound adjustable only, this sled rides amazing and that's no overstatement. Articat has got its suspension settings dialed. From small stutter bumps to bigger chop, that slide action skid frame soaks up anything you can throw at it, as does the race front end. Higher end models with higher end adjustable shock packages and consequently higher price tags can be set up to ride even better. But in the case of this base model, we're not complaining one bit. The same goes for handling. This is the best handling Arctic Cat snowmobile we've ever tested. Turn in is precise and predictable. It holds its line all the way through the corner. It keeps the skis on the ground and yet it doesn't dart in any significant way. 2017 Articats weren't bad handling sleds by any stretch of the imagination, but this 2018 model is just that much better. Our final thoughts on the 2018 Articat ZR8000 ES. It has everything you need and nothing you don't. Electric start, reverse, a Ripsaw 125 track, and a set of good quality, albeit limited adjustability, Fox Zero RC shocks. It also has a motor that will leave you with a smile on your face both when you hit the throttle and when you hit the pumps. 
Finally, it has a price tag that is, in the 800 class at least, affordable. These are just some of the reasons the 2018 Arctic Cat ZR 8000 ES has become a sled we highly recommend. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button and then subscribe to Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel that's constantly being updated with fresh content.